the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he had some shit. <laughs> Welcome, motherfuckers, to the 5150 motherfucking show. God damn it, the speaker's still on. <laughs> you said that the same <laughs> What the fuck? Another Corona Tuesday in this bitch. Oh, shoot. Niggas getting that chest congestion. congestion. That throat ain't right. You think it's some bad pussy you ate. No, it's something else this time. Most niggas know. They be like, <coughs> <coughs> bitch, bitch. Now? Mm. Nah, it's a motherfucker. Got that shit. Hope you ain't got it. Hope you dodging that bullshit they got out there, them traps for us. I'm Corey Hogan. This is Darlene OGOT. And we are 5150 on a sick ass city Tuesday. Mm. Traffic in L.A. is hilarious. It's picking back up, though. Have you found that out lately? Still ain't bad. No, hell no. I'll take it. Coming from the airport on a regular day in L.A. during the week at 5 o'clock, it would take you hour and a half to two hours to get in the valley. That freeway ride good for a little while, too. You be like, oh, I'm straight. Then as soon as you get to that one spot, you be like, turn off the lights. <laughs> it's so dark. You might as well relax. <laughs> Still ain't got my hair cut. I'm used to it now. It don't even fuck with me no more. I'm finna be motherfucking like Forrest Gump when he was running. <laughs> I well, your get... your facial hair doesn't look too bad. The top is getting pretty up there. I bet you can, if you combed it out, you'd have a, a full good fro, right? Maybe. I don't know. Let's I'm try it like, during the break. Like, I'm going to brush it you? out. I forgot I had them beats on. Look how long your hair is. Oh, my goodness. Groot? Groot. <laughs> 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 That's off the Avengers and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. It's so much dysfunction going on in the world. Mm. Where do you begin, right? Should we start with the NFL draft? Oof, God. Could you? Why is bitches at your mama house, niggas? <laughs> How do you? Why is your mama house cluttered? Thanks to Jerry. With a funky shine stealing bitch. Let's just begin there. Mm. Why is it a shine stealing bitch sitting with you at a time in your life that's monumental? Supposed to be anyway. It's like they diminished it. Yeah. Who raised you? If I had a son, I would say, son, let me tell you something. You almost grown now, but I got to execute one more fatherly duty. Don't bring no funky ass bitch over here for nothing but fucking and walking to the car. They got an Uber now. You ain't got to drive them home no more. Mm -hmm. What is a funky bitch sitting on the couch kicking it with you for? Why are they, why are they allowed to be comfortable in your house? 
Your house is supposed to be some shit. All right, bitch, you know we're going to hip hop. And we got to get the fuck out right afterward. You don't let motherfuckers come and interfere with, you know, I know what it's like. It just goes to show how young they are, though, too. Say that again. Goes to show how young they are, too. It ain't or just immature. the young, though, D. You remember the, remember the boxer? Which one? The one that had the, walked out and the girlfriend took all that glory? But he allowed it. He was like almost like showboating her. Right. He not, he not in hot college coming out. No, he's not. These niggas, not to diss all these niggas, but you got to hear the shit. You bitch mm -hmm. raised. Bitch raised. You got the enemy walking next to you. At magic moments in your life. You don't have no bitch. Bitch, play your part. You must have the courage to look any woman you fucking with in the eye and say, you got to play your motherfucking part now. You ain't on no forever with me shit. You know, this is my girl. I'm going to be with her forever. No, you don't even know what it's like. The NFL should make it mandatory. Before you sign your contract, you have to go to divorce court for 10 days and sit in there and watch what happened to the niggas before you who believed in a bitch. Mm. Look, well, just watch what happened. It is disastrous. Every ounce of information that she know about you is told to the courthouse. The stuff you never thought she would say, they're going to say it. Because you was a trustworthy motherfucker who gave in to something that I know how hard it is to let somebody go you care about. It's not easy. When you care about somebody and they ready to move on because you ain't doing what they need you to do or what they want you to do, it's very hard to let them go. But you have to if you are standing in righteousness. You can't let nobody make you. I want to come over on the draft. <laughs> bitch, what? You can come over after the draft, bitch. After the draft, that's when motherfucking you party. This is not a party. This is, bitches, you want to come over, bitch? Sit over there by the kitchen. Cook something. Do something useful. While the draft is, is they, okay, they finna call my name? Get the bitch, get the bitch. That's a, that's a productive house. Your mama and your daddy, the people who raised you, Could should be good. sitting next to you I in agree. that magic moment. I agree. Not a bitch you fucking, homie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. I do. I do. Totally the bitch you fucking that. is sitting closer to you than your mama. You ain't even married to this bitch. This is just a bitch you fucking right now, young man. Oh, Corey. You go too hard. You wrong. No, I'm not. I'm not. It was a young man who had his extra phone or whatever. D.C. Lamb, am I right? Mm-hmm. No, that's the other C.D. Lamb. Yeah. A bitch grabbing his phone at the magic moment. Now, see, for a nigga like me, that's all I got to see. I know the bitch ain't shit. But... <laughs> I'm just saying, after that, this bitch on the shade room talking about her story mm -hmm. and what happened that night. Everybody with eyes that can see beyond vision know this, is a, this bitch is about some shine. This is a, this is a <laughs> Facebook bitch. This is an Instagram heifer. <laughs> Look cute, bitch. Good for fucking. That's it. Not for cuffing. The ones that you really be with is the ones that show you through actions. They fuck with you for real. And you ain't been through stuff yet. Yeah. You're young. You don't know. But I, you know what, D? If somebody brought up right, like if there was a rite of passage in the hood, like at a certain age, you got to go to man school or something like that. Ain't nothing, in, ain't nothing to prepare these young boys for man, manhood except what they saw their mama do. 
and think about what they saw their mama do. Try and see any dads. I ain't trying to diss all the women, but I'm just saying. In those two, though, I didn't see any fathers. The reason that boy got that bitch on the couch before you is because he watched how you get down, mamas. Mm, mm, mm. If you did what you was supposed to do, you wouldn't have to yank the little snowball bitch off the I couch. Cannot. God dang it. I mean, you a gangster for doing that. We give you credit for that, God damn it. Tell that bitch get in her place, in the car. God damn it. But you know Upstairs the in coming. the room. You Go prep the, your yeah. pussy for when I open the door. Oh, shit. The fuck else you doing here? This <laughs> is so But his mama, we ain't got to say his name. His mama had to snatch the bitch off the couch. She covered his face. He was the one getting drafted, and the bitch covered it, his face. It, it, Whatever the reason may be, it, the, the weak would be like, oh, she was hugging him. That's the weak, making excuses for a funky bitch. You hug him afterwards, exactly. You're still I knew something was wrong with the nigga when he was dancing, goddammit, on the screen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, a dancing nigga. You one of them niggas. Oh, you a dancing bear. Oh, I cannot. Gosh darn it. <laughs> stupid. I ain't trying to hate, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to hate. I'm so glad they got drafted, especially the boys who got drafted early. But your NFL check is already finna get cuffed. Ooh. You gonna owe the rest to a bitch. Don't let him pop up pregnant. Let's say you got $2 million. How much of that $2 million do you think, how much is going to be left when everybody snatched theirs on the check? You got $2 million. I'm just saying, I'm just using $2 million as a figure. Mm -hmm. What you think your check going to be? They said they're giving you $2 million after taxes and the agents and the sucker shit. What you think your check going to be? This is if you ain't got no kids. And NFL don't take care of theirs afterwards. They don't have no, do they? They don't have a re retirement program or anything. They don't look out for them, do they? Say it's nothing, though. Oh, see, exactly. So, mm hmm. You fuck, boys. Shake that weight. Shake the weight. It's a bitch, my nigga. That's all it is. You're going to have thousands of bitches. If you're a boss player ass nigga, You gonna fuck these hoes, boy. I'm here to tell you, ain't no way around it. Not because you evil. Don't let nobody tell you you evil. It's just a natural thing that human beings do. I hope you find one that makes you calm down because you feel like she with you forever. But most of them are with you long as you're doing what they want you to do. That's my opinion. This ain't, I ain't saying it's facts. But ask all them motherfuckers who left the boys court today. Do they wish they would have had the balls to say, bitch, I ain't marrying you because you said you're going to leave? Most of the motherfuckers get married because that bitch said she's going to leave. And motherfuckers be like, oh, won't you leave? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it then. All right. That's your ass, boy. you get over it. It take about 20 days of pain. I'm talking about it. Hurt, especially if you love them for real. But you got to give yourself 20 days of that bed. Yes, niggas going to be pogo sticking in your bitch. Yes. That pussy is out there in the streets. They going to act like they ain't fucking nobody else. All that shit. They going to say, I'm just working or whatever the fuck they doing. You're not stupid. When you stop obeying or when she put up that, look, goddammit, you going to do this or it's over. Motherfucker, get your Netflix subscription and watch movies until the pain is enough for you to go out with your head up. I, I ain't gonna even lie. I take pride in the fact that I have lost people. I'm talking about women that I love and care about, but I just didn't cut the mustard. And I hate I didn't cut the mustard because... Love is real. I don't love everything. I don't make, I, you don't just come in my life and because we fucking I love you. 
Once I get to the point where I see you as a, 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 a asset to my heart, an asset to my life, then I can bring you around my mama or, or, or whoever else I love. But there is a fucking phase that we must go through. Uh, <laughs> and I hope you can make it to the end. Because if you can't, I, I hate it. I sure do hate it, little brothers out there. You got to have the courage at this time to walk away from bullshit because it's going to come back to bite you in the motherfucking ass. If a bitch jumping all over you, covering you Already. when the camera going on, <laughs> that's an ain't shit bitch. <laughs> that's an ain't shit bitch. If your father was around, he'd have told you. <laughs> Bitch jumping all in your lap like she got you there. And he was holding on to her, too. He's lame. <laughs> he was dancing. That's the dancing bear, nigga. Oh, God. Do, 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 They should have had Bugs Bunny right next to that nigga. Like. <sighs> Good luck in the NFL, though. He a big nigga, too. Hope he can make some money. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody say Stephen A. Stephen A. Jack Stephen Jackson left his girl at the at the altar. He did. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't gonna sign that prenup, and that brother was strong enough to take the pain right then. Mm -hmm. Taking that pain later on ain't no motherfucking joke. Just like this jacket got me hot than a motherfucker. <laughs> That's that windbreaker shit. It's supposed to be light, yeah. I'm come through that motherfucker. Yeah. My chest wet like a bitch at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh Woo. Uh, <sighs> but 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 did shit. you what did you think of the overall presentation of having it done like that? It's the worst thing. You think so? Other than when they all got well, together. You got an NFL draft. This year would have been in Vegas. They would have had tables, and they'd be like, "Look, your table only got a certain amount of spots." Oh, that is true. You're right. Okay. Who you want there? Oh, okay. You don't think that this is the way? But they at want home, uh. the bitch <laughs> took the spot on the couch over your mama. <laughs> he was there. He could have had some say so. If it was me, even though I ain't get drafted, so I'm just speaking hypothetically. My bitch, I would have had, I would have went to CVS or Walgreens mm -mm. and bought one of them foot massages that had your foot in the water, what's them things called? The, the foot bucket. The bath thing, uh-huh. That vibrates. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'd be like, bitch, when I get drafted, your job is to rub my foot with the brush or something. You show what kind of motherfucking nigga I am. You are supposed to do my feet. As soon as they say my name, I'll be, hey, what up? Bitch, don't forget that nail. Yay! <laughs> if your son was getting an award, D, mm. for um, rapping, <clears throat> that his thing? It ain't no, mainly rapping. No, he's... What would he get an award for? He sings. Sings? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I, she said you sing. No, well, because it's, it's, it's heavy metal, so I mean, if you want to... Oh, you know, heavy metal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but, so yeah. if he was getting an award, mm -hmm. a Grammy or something, mm -hmm. for what they do, right? and the Grammys had to be shot on the couch, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and he say, Mom, I want you to come over. But he had some bitch he fucking on the couch. Wouldn't you feel some kind of way? If you wasn't sitting next to your son? Of, I'm course, talking about of course I'd feel some sort of way, but at this point, he's an adult, too. I mean, these guys right here, like I said, it's like they don't know any better. I'm surprised she didn't either the mom check him beforehand or say something beforehand, or even the guy. Like, how did he even have that already set up like that? Poor, po fellas. I know, but I'm just saying. But my, my but if I don't, I, did I ever tell you about when my son was talking about social media? 
I think so. I think you mentioned it. You did tell us that he had a new girlfriend. Well, whoever the bitch was he was fucking with. Mm -hmm. um, my son and me was talking on the phone one day, and my son was like, yeah, me and my girl decided, you know, we weren't going to get no Facebook or no social media accounts. Oh. And I stopped him. I said, wait, 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 wait. You let a bitch tell you you can't have no social media. And it was like a big ass pause. Almost to say, how did I know? I've been around the block, man. I know what bitches do. So this bitch got you where you ain't got no social media. But what if it you was his idea? Sucker. What if it was his idea to begin with? Man, Maybe. that ain't how no man think. What man ain't gonna have you 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 a you a you a young in your last teenage year. Do you think you're not gonna be able to kid these kids love to flex on the internet? That's really all they got, a lot of them. So what boy gonna come to me and say, We decided we you soft for a bitch, nigga. I was gonna say you Snap are, you up are out the shit, <laughs> nigga. That bitch ain't shit. I told him, hey son, whoever that bitch who told you that shit was, I don't know if you still fuck with her. But if you fuck with her, you going to pay. Just like I pay. My, your, my, your, your sister, by the other lady, I knew that bitch wasn't shit. It's just I didn't have nobody around me to tell me, get the fuck away from that funky bitch. I didn't have nobody to tell me that. So I wound up fucking with the bitch and she got knocked up. Thank God for my daughter. But fuck that funky bitch. Fuck her. Fuck her. Evil bitch. Manipulative. Did I say that right? Yep, sure did. I ain't know I was weak. It's my job to plant the seed of watch this bitchism. Thanks, Demetrius. Wow. Thanks, Demetrius. Notice that 5150 mm, comes on. Come. Anyway, I couldn't oh, he even must see be it. New. He said something about reminding him when the days and times of 5150 comes on. Well, if you subscribe, um, Demetrius, it will let you know. He says he loves the songs I create. Oh, right on. <laughs> Off the top of the dome, G. Um, now, ain't nobody out here talking like this. Ain't nobody got the... If you, if you talk like this on TV, you're going to get your TV stole. Your TV show taken. Um, there's no warning signs for the scandalous women of the world. Just scandalous men. There's nobody to tell you. Watch that bitch, homie. And the people who do tell you, you won't listen. You have to go through trials and tribulations because you wasn't brought up in a way to understand the shit. This candy land with these bitches. Speaking of bitches, one of the most dangerous females in the world is an ugly bitch in power. A ugly bitch in power is going to make everybody pay for her uglism. These bitches been ugly their whole life. Ain't never got chose. So now they got some power. What do you think they gonna do? It's an ugly bitch. Look like the boss on The Simpsons. Mr. What is it, Mr. Uh-uh. Mr. What? Burns? Yep. Condoleezza Rice. Oh, my goodness. This bitch look just like the boss on The Simpsons, Mr. Burns. Mm -hmm. This ugly bitch want everybody to stop calling people racist. She wants you to pretend racism don't exist. Don't say nothing about it. She made a statement. I'll read the shit from the funky bitch. I don't give a fuck. If you get mad at me, I don't give a fuck. Condoleezza. That's an ugly bitch name, Lisa. Condo, Lisa. <laughs> that's, a, that's an ugly bitch it name. It does have two E's and two Z's. Condo, Lisa. 
get a bitch some rice, want you to stop calling people racist, even if they are. She says, she thinks it hurts to call people racist. This appears to be her solution to healing the racial strife in this country, as somebody said. They, they, in fact, they started off by saying, this bitch shopped for Ferragamo shoes while people who look like her died in Hurricane Katrina. Okay, well look, I don't give a fuck what the bitch bought with her money, but I'm just saying. How you gonna say, don't call people racist? So what are we supposed to call them? She didn't say stop treating black people bad with her black ugly ass. She said stop calling people racist. This is the mentality of people like that. These people are up under them people for a reason. She come from that same camp Barack came from, the Bush motherfuckers. She was up under Bush. Them trained niggas, her, Barack, all the motherfuckers up under the Bush people they want you niggas to get in line <laughs> and let these motherfucking evil racist motherfuckers do what they do what they gonna do. Don't call them racist. Somebody need to slap that bitch. I ain't say beat her up. I'm talking about just walk up to her like you like you like you got an Amazon truck. Drive up in an Amazon truck and have the little paper she's supposed to sign. As soon as she take the pen from you, go, why? That type of slap. Because condo Lisa, you bogus than a motherfucker for saying that. And it ain't going to be nothing to happen to you for doing it. Except for this shit I'm talking. Mm. You're going to get away with that shit. You could diss black people. Didn't the one dude do it? The, 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 what's the, what's the uh, half-breed boy? The, 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 he, he said what black people need to do. And, I said, and some dude on CNN said what black people need to do. Recently? Yeah. This is what they do. They check black people, but they won't say what white people need to do. Cause that'll get your ass fired. Well, that'll bring that'll bring drama to your motherfucking job. But what was the ramifications of her saying that? Cause that was back in 2019. <laughs> Some motherfucker up there said, Bush told Condoleezza, I got Papa. <laughs> Damn it. They always come through. Yeah, what happened with that? Because that happened last year. Some dude on CNN. Some dude who wear glasses. Oh, brought it up. Van oh. Van Jones, bitch ass. I like Van Jones. I don't. That motherfucker made sure he used his airtime to say what black people need to do. Like it ain't a whole bunch of motherfucking people from other races who fucking up in this country. It's just when black people do it, it's fucked up. Even though I get it, it's just people out here who were born to want to fit in. That's how you move up in the world. When you go to college, everybody who can do work, doing the work is basically if you can be programmed. When you're in college, to do well in college, you have to program yourself to listen and obey. That's how you excel in college, if you listen and obey and do what they say do. That's why employers will hire you if they see you got good college scores because they know you are programmable. You do what you feel the boss say. Now, Corey, talk about college. Yup, because your degree can't do nothing but put you in a place to get programmed. They'll give you a check for it. You feel good about your check, be down. God damn it, you better not step away from the program and start to think for yourself. Or you'll be motherfucking out here fucked up with the rest of us. Hmm. Having to get it how you get it. Shit. Mm -mm -mm. No motherfuckers in here go to... I don't give a fuck. Fuck. College. She motherfucking... Got her degree. Got a job. That was when she saw racism for real. Oh, I bet. Where'd she go? Did she go in Illinois somewhere? Yeah, she got a job. Um, no, I said, did she go? She went to college in Illinois. Yeah, well, she went to college in Illinois, mm -hmm. and it's, it's shit with that. But if you do your work, you fit in. But when she got to job, when she got to her job, that's what she saw. Qualified and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I ain't got no shame. All the Asian bitches had formed a union where they be together. And even though she had rank as high or higher than them, they made it tough for her when she was ready to quit. And I told her, I said, baby girl, anywhere you go, it's going to be racist motherfuckers mm -hmm. who try to fuck your shit up. You will never dodge that. You got to find a way to maneuver them motherfuckers. Get them on tape doing what they doing. So even if you do get some drama, they got to pay you. Oh, here's what the bitch said to me. Here it is right here. That's mm -hmm. what these phones are worth. You record the shit. When motherfuckers at your job is talking to you who you know ain't about shit, you got to record they As soon as they come and press record. Because if you motherfucking black with a degree and you at a job, you are going to kiss ass, talk about what niggas need to do. Like, what's his name? Van Jones? Mm -hmm. Bitch nigga Jones. <laughs> One of the faggots who work for CNN. Do you, do you, is it a heterosexual male doing news for CNN? I don't watch any of those. I mean, I catch certain highlights that might stick I done seen all them motherfuckers. All them motherfuckers is dick in the booty motherfuckers. Who? Oh, I like him. And he just went off on everybody recently, too, because he's so fed up with stuff. Well, who you say? Chris Cuomo. Chris Cuomo? Cuomo. Ain't that the sick motherfucker? He has the virus, yeah. But on his podcast recently, yeah, he went off on everybody. He said he's, he's second-guessing his, second his career because he doesn't like having to lie and put up with Trump and things like that in whole journalism. I mean, you know. Oh, my God, we got a special guest. Hold up, hold up. I knew he was coming. What? And look at his, fr look at you, Craig. Oh, Craig Yay. Facts, ladies Yay. and gentlemen. Here we go. He got a new name. I ain't calling him that. It sound gay as fuck. Oh, don't. Who gave it to him? I think he made it up himself. Oh, no. <laughs> what, that, what you talking about? I ain't calling you big head, Craig. That sound like I'm flirting with you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's that? <laughs> That's funny in the moment. <laughs> That's your Hollywood name. <laughs> big head, Craig. What's up, y'all? What's poppin', man? Your hair growing out a little bit. Oh, look at you. Just trying. Yeah. He got the I infant get, group. You can't see the scalp when I do that. That's the only problem I got right now, look man. <laughs> How you been? All right, you. Good. Y'all still doing a restaurant every Sunday? Yes. Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. We had to shut down. It's all takeouts, right, D? Yeah. But oh. we have so many people again. What's his name is a regular. So great. Who? Craig Robinson. He came in again this weekend twice. But yeah. I'm going to have Craig Robinson do the show probably this week. I got to call him. You should. Come and sing in that. What you say, Phil? Song. Yeah, call him, see if he do Friday. That's a talented Very dude Very nice right guy. There. Yeah, right? Oh, hell yeah. Did y'all start off together or you started before him? We started a little bit before him. You know, oh. Craig used to have a Charles Barkley type game. Oh, he used to play? Bang, motherfuckers Ooh, down low. I couldn't even For imagine real? his size. Oh, what? Mm. Mm -hmm. Even though he a big dude, his arms was a little short, but they were strong <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, hey, uh, okay. That, that made a lot coming from, from Corey, because Corey... What? Corey I'm talking about Craig. A motherfucker on the block. No, Craig used to be. We used to go at it. That was one of the motherfuckers I used to be like. <laughs> when Craig was younger, he had hops. Oh, yeah, hops too? What? Craig used to play, man. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, people don't know his body size. He had that. Like, when you look at Charles Barkley now, he was playing Charles Barkley. He used to use his lower body strength to dominate. Yeah, he was a monster. Yeah. How tall is Craig? I never seen him in part. Huge. Him about He's six, big. About your height. Oh, okay. Might be, might be a yeah. little shorter, by an inch or two. Who? You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of really? six two power fours in the '80s, huh? Y'all niggas yeah. just went straight to the block. Yeah, yeah. What was going on in the '80s, man? Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Your coach never let you pl let you play on the wing. No, not in um, not in um, high school. In high school, I didn't, my, my coach, he kept me down low. He didn't give a fuck about developing my game. Oh, yeah, that's... My, that's when I went to college, that's when I was allowed to step out really? and shoot. So at your peak, what was your... You had like a Charles Barkley type game? That's, that, that's what your game was? I don't know. If I was to, to describe my game, my game was... Compare yourself to something. was more like... Uh, I, well, it's weird. Like, Carl Malone. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, you had mid-range game. Mailman? <laughs> yeah, call him alone, because I used to be able to house any motherfucker. Like, it's some motherfucker. Most motherfucking big motherfuckers, we talk about basketball for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. Most big motherfuckers do not know how to defend motherfuckers that know how to go into their body. Right. But all them 6'6 six, six and taller motherfuckers who just stood there and did this, right, right. they used to give me problems. Right, right. They were smart. They didn't fall for the fake. Right. But you know how you had them quick hops? I had them quick hops, so I was able to lay that shit up. But my homeboy, uh, damn, I can't even think of his name. He, he worked for Nick Cannon. God damn it, tall African motherfucker. Anyway, all he used to do is do this, and he used to give me problems. Because he was about 6'6". Six, six, yeah, yeah. With long arms. So but he just works, used to let works. me get right up on him. <laughs> and when, as soon as I jumped, he'd just stand. <laughs> like, this motherfucker, no. He'd have found the secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. hey, once all this is all said and done, we got that park up the street. I'm telling you, the indoor. We ain't it's played indoors. no ball in a while. I, I got I got to warm up to that. Too. We'll start I made a fool out of myself last time I tried to play some basketball. I looked like a guy. Dude, who was this old motherfucker out here? <laughs> oh, they weren't your age? It wasn't like a, a league? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Oh. I just ain't been doing no That's dangerous when athletic you do that. shit. I've been arguing with motherfuckers. Man. I need to. You remember when Magic came back that, that, that first time and his game wasn't magical no more? It was old, like the moves looked dated. He killed him in that All-Star game. Yeah, he did. He oh, had he that did. HIV layup line. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was getting Lord. the fuck out his sick ass way. Hey, that's my game. Now, when I was playing, everybody was just trying to cross niggas. It was all about the crossover. AI had blew up, so everybody was trying to make people fall. Now the game is like, it's different. Everybody doing step backs and side steps and all type of- They doing of... the James Harden shit, hey. them trendy niggas. Yeah, hey, that shit. I don't like that style of play, man. Anyway. Cover that, because I didn't, hear about it until you said it the firing of homegirls yeah that's what i was gonna okay. go into next all right sir the two big coon bitches who be big up in trump oh uh diamond and silk is that the, their name the, the two that was doing the campaign shit when he was bare built bitches who would be of no relevance if it wasn't for that shit that they was allowed to do what they get what she get fired for they were fired from Fox News because they were Red given missing. bad information on the coronavirus. <laughs> now these bitches got to be out here like the rest of the bitches who built like them. My thing is, who was giving them the information? I, they ain't doctors. That's what they, who, who gives a fuck? This is what they uttered out their mouth. <laughs> They've been uttering bullshit since we known them, but they finally got fired for uttering some bullshit. <laughs> That's crazy. I think they was just tired of them. They became too much of a fucking, you know, the, the powers to be was like, eh. Oh, yeah. Fuck them. I wonder what kind of lick they had if it was worth the money selling out like that. Yeah, it was worth the money. Look at them. Who's going to hire them? <laughs> when they walk in a place, people are like, <laughs> They could be mall cops. <laughs> Mall cops, um, uh, bouncers, they got, yeah. got shit. I don't know. Clean up crew after festivals, uh, bobsled technicians. You know what? <laughs> yeah, all them type of jobs. Mechanic like that. assistants, yeah. You know, anything right. with your hands. You right. Know, thumb wrestling champs. <laughs> right. <laughs> Crossing guard for pit bulls and shit. <laughs> like, hey, down here. And now you have, and now you have other yeah. outlets calling them out on it. Like, yeah. of course, they're having a ball. Like CNN, their quote about it was uh, bringing them in the first place is. That's yeah. what CNN said. So they're jabbing at, you know, at their rivals. Yeah, yeah that's well, they, great. They put people out there um, to not only be on the news, on the Internet. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. There are people paid to talk shit and cause chaos on the Internet. Like saying, oh, I don't see nothing Donald Trump did wrong. I'd be like, mm. yeah, who the time. fuck is this <laughs> goofy ass motherfucker saying some sucker ass shit like that? I don't, I don't you don't like, see nothing Trump did wrong. No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't understand poor people that are into politics. That shit don't make no sense to me. Say that again. <laughs> I don't understand poor people that are into politics. It don't make no sense to me. It's mm -hmm. just, you know what I mean? It's a rich man's game. We, ain't, mm -hmm. we can't change nothing. Somebody need to tell them, man. All you hackling heifers who walk up to people at the mall talking about, are you registered to vote? 
bitch, get your bum ass the fuck out of my face. Your vote ain't. Yeah. Hell no. If you poor, you should only be into soap operas, uh, NBA basketball, right. and uh, reality shows. Yeah, Housewives reality. from Heifers. Hell yeah. yeah. yeah you out your league, you know. Mm. I ain't gonna lie though. One of the scariest experiences I had though. You ever seen a presidential motorcade? Oh like, yeah. Up come close. The, yeah, come just. Like, just nope. go right by I you. I went at Roscoe's that day. Nick. Obama went to Roscoe's. I was on the 405 freeway right when Obama was getting out of office. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Probably about, like, 16, 17 Humvees with, like, 10, 15 different dudes hanging out the window with machine guns and, like, another uh, 10 highway patrols. You bullshit. It was crazy, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't living that type of lifestyle... Where, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> you shouldn't be in the politics is what I'm saying. Right. You know. You standing in line at the soul food kitchen with some house shoes on, acting like you you got some importance in the world. <laughs> Bitch, your foot hard in the back. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You ain't shit. Ain't been nowhere. If you have not been to at least five states in America, <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? You don't know nothing but what you saw. Real spit. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't even traveled enough to make an opinion about nothing except what you saw. If you argue with a security guard about the price of yams at the grocery store, you shouldn't be into politics. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you live somewhere where they make you take your hat off in the store, before you, <laughs> you need to reevaluate your life. You was in the ghetto, cause this ghetto is a motherfucker, man. I went to the fucking the soul food restaurant, and um, with everybody having to wear the mask now, right. this gives the bitches who work there something to say to you. <laughs> cause you know you got to stand outside and order. I was, I wasn't even in line yet. This lady said, "You need to have your mask on around here." <laughs> <laughs> they cannot. They I was like, what? I wanted to check the bitch so bad, but I wanted some of the food. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> so I just put my mask on, bow I down. obeyed. I was like, That's God. called bow down, you bow down. What I wasn't even in line yet. <laughs> I had just got out of my car. If you're gonna be out here, you got to have your mask on. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I, cook the chicken. Shut the fuck up. Which one was it? Cashiers with no back teeth. Every time I go to a oh soul food God. restaurant, bitches they they got fang forward teeth. They ain't got fang. They ain't nothing behind the fang, man. That um, shit me is and Shanae have all our teeth. Yeah. Right? What is it with black people in that now later tooth missing? That gnaw oh tooth. Oh my God. That motherfucker chewed the most shit, so it, it dissolved. <laughs> oh God. You can only eat a certain amount of chicken for that tooth. <laughs> that tooth gonna fall out after about that fifteen hundred chicken. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Boy, you go to these, you, but it ain't just the restaurant. In the hood, broke motherfuckers look for the opportunity to tell you what you need to be doing. Mm. <laughs> That's a real spit. I got another observation about soul food restaurant. I'm tired of the cashiers with the big, strong bottom jaw. This old lady had a strong bottom jaw, and she blew blew a kiss. This jaw was so Ms. scary. You COVID nineteen. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm being stupid, right? You are. Oh my no, god. No, but look, I was I was I was at this one place in the hood. It, it, it was like fuck it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. On Crenshaw Boulevard, it's when the um this wing place first opened up. What's the shit that everybody famous? Well, it's like it's. Maryland, Chef Maryland, no. No, no, you not that. You said it was a wing spot? Yeah, it's a... Arts? Back to art. it's, it's No, this is um, one that's mainly out, like, everywhere, where you watch the games at... Buffalo Wild, Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings on Crenshaw. Oh, my God. I went up to that motherfucker. As soon as I got to the door, the security guard said, take your hat off. <laughs> About face. I just <laughs> turned around yeah. and left. Mm -hmm. I'm like... What? Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, you are doing security at Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to take my hat off because you said it? <laughs> Nigga, get the fuck. Who are you? You should. 
if it's so bad, if you live where you have to take your hat off to go in stores, you need to achieve better for yourself in life. Because they don't do that at the, in certain neighborhoods. No, hell no. It ain't nobody outside begging for gas, money. You know when you go to the gas station? Yeah. Whenever you buy a house, your job is to drive over there at night and see what the fuck going on at the gas station. That tell you all about that neighborhood. Well, think- if they begging at the gas station, you in the danger zone. That's the real shit. Yeah, but I think a lot of things are going to change, including stuff like that. It's you like, think really? So? Really? What do you mean? You get- I was at the Popeyes on motherfucking, what is the one, La Brea and Manchester? At, uh, no, Washington. No, not that one. Centinella. Even further down? Centinella. You were past Lawson? I don't know why. I walked, I went in that motherfucker, not inside, it's drive through. Right by Ralph's. It was a nigga standing by the window okay. where you pay begging. Where the car passed by, he stood up on the block. As soon as you pull up, the window right here is a nigga right there. You roll your window down. <laughs> hey, homie, you got some change. <laughs> Same guy. He's been there. He's trying to get his, his spray bottle refilled with that water so he can spray your window and clean it. I was like, yeah. hold up, man. It's a nigga out here. When you roll your window down, he at you. <laughs> if you live around shit like that, you got to step your game up. You got to step your game up, man. Did he have his mask on? Don't buy no house nowhere like that. Your house ain't going to be worth Shit. <laughs> Unless they build a football stadium by it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then they're going to raise your taxes when you can't live there no more. <laughs> <laughs> you you like, they're going to have a football stadium over here. We're going to be having fun. No, you ain't going to be there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Them taxes going to go from this a year to this a year. <laughs> you can't afford that no more. <laughs> the game ain't fair. I thought because you bought a house, you beat the game. You move it. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Inglewood by the new football stadium, prepare to leave, nigga. Yeah. If you ain't sold your house already, you better get some. You better get some for that motherfucker, cause you ain't gonna be able to afford no motherfucking uh, taxes. They about to be charging for them houses with your Chipotle restaurant manager shit. That manager at Chipotle check ain't gonna pay for them motherfucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, if you're making 300 a week uh, before taxes, right. you're on yeah. your way out. Yeah. You're have to be- if that doesn't bother you, can you imagine the chaos? Because even with just the forum itself, the, the traffic, right. when there's a concert, now you've got all that? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah you're not gonna, you're, people aren't going to want to stay. They think they are, but yeah. They're no. not going to want to stay because they're going to see them taxes. That too, yeah. That's the dirtiest shit in the world, taxes to live in a house. Man. You bought the house, right. but every year you got to come up with... Mm-hmm. D, I ain't gonna lie. One time you said when I was paying taxes to live up there on that hill at that time, mm-hmm. you, you know that shit now about three, four times as much. Probably. Wow. I, would, I, I can imagine that. Huh. I can imagine that. $90,000. Yeah, yeah, move so up there probably, on that, yeah. Move up there on that hill... Off Crescent Heights now? Oh, yeah, it's a wrap. Nigga. That's a scam. Mm-hmm. Staying in a house for 30 years is the dumbest shit you could do. Why you say that? Because, you know, every 10 years the market crashes anyway. So you're supposed to buy low, then when it's at its peak, you sell and let it crash again and buy low and just flip every, you know, every five, 10 years or so. Staying in, a, staying in a house for 30 years so you could pay all that interest is dumb. No, it all depends on where you have the house and how you actually obtained it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, right. Something like my grandparents' home was just land. And my grandpa bought that land and built the three houses, sold the other two to his best friends yeah. and his relatives, and then they lived in that one, and they own that. So right. in other words, all they pay is is taxes, and that taxes on that house is literally like six hundred dollars a year. Well, that's smart. But they owned it. They bought the Where land, built the house. It's been in the, the same in, in Corona, but my it's grandparents a- built it in what? My dad was what seventy? So probably about. 70 some 80 years ago. Oh, that's when you could win. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so they, if it's you family. You can buy a house money, now if you got that paper on. They get a house in Florida somewhere. Yeah, that's Sell this bullshit out here. The, I, the whole this is for motherfuckers who got paper right now. Real paper, because that California taxes is, is ridiculous. Cali- buying a house in California, if you like lower middle class and got a little bit of paper, but you're not super rich, 
Yo, I think the goal should be to just flip it, make 50, 60,000 and keep upgrading like that. But don't, you can't look at a crib and try to get comfortable with it. But if you got discretionary capital and you can buy a crib and sit on it for three years and make 70, you know, 40, 50, 70 grand, that's Hold worth on, it. But Craig, another thing you need to know, like if I buy a house, I got stash boxes and tunnels I done built in that motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got to have a tunnel to go to the other house and I walk out the door yeah. and be like, who they looking for over there? The police get ready to raid my house. I'm going to be pulling off in a car right in front of them. <laughs> Damn, they about to get that nickel stick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. care how much the tunnel costs. Yeah. I need a tunnel built somewhere outside of my house. Right. That nigga said, whoever said Craig is a dummy, man, I've owned two houses in my lifetime. I'm 38, oh, man. Pay attention. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. Mm. Stop. Why? You own two houses? I mean, I sold both of them, but yeah, I bought and sold two houses in, in my life that were my houses. Wow. In, in California? Career. In California. But you got to remember, in 2000, when I graduated from high school, you can get a house in a decent neighborhood still for like 150000 you know, below 200, and it started really getting crazy. The prices to like 2006. And again, in certain counties, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd have bought that house on my block yeah. when I first moved here. Because yeah. houses, but well, their job ain't paying. No. Shut the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. With a storefront. <laughs> with the storefront, with the glass. In the Beverly Center. Over there. So this Cheesecake Factory <laughs> gone? We'll take it. <laughs> 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 real shit, nigga. Yeah, for real. That's true. What's the name of that Mexican restaurant on Ventura? El Torito? Yeah, they about to be out of there. That it's lady said we can't afford right, this shit. Right, it's too big, the, the well, mortgage. She the charged rent. too much for her food for motherfuckers to get that takeout yeah. when they can get Mexican food down the street that's just Hello as good. Hello at the taco truck. Her <laughs> shit was her bar. That's what she made her money because motherfuckers go in there and but get fucked can, up. But now you can take drinks on the road. So they've allowed that. But who's going to pay all that money? You might as well just go to the market Who and get your Who's going to take mom? a drink on the road in California? If you live in New Orleans, okay. New Orleans, they got places where you can drive through and buy alcohol. Right, but some people are taking their food takeout and they're going and sitting in their car. So right. now places that were already had a bar license. There ain't nobody doing that. That's I all did. them Uber Eats motherfuckers <laughs> who supposed to be delivering I, your food. No. They going through it. They I've like, been doing that Boy, at the they, uh, This yeah. is a good buy for them. <laughs> let, me, let me refold this shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the shit everybody got? Is it Uber Eats? Grubhub. Grubhub. Yep. Grubhub. 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 You finna let a nigga who is at the bottom of his life bring your food over. <laughs> That's fucked Stop. up. Have you thought about what you're doing? <laughs> you you just about to take some cold stone ice cream from a motherfucker. <laughs> that is it. Yeah. Who driving his auntie car? Our number, <laughs> our number one thing we're missing. We always see the, uh, we always see the uh, messages like, uh, "Hey guys, could you please make sure that you staple the bag together?" Because the banana pudding's always missing. Like every customer. What's so funny is shit. Them motherfuckers be like, "Look, I ain't got no stapler." <laughs> I wish I would let a grub hub nigga bring some shit to my dough. That's another nigga who broke know where you live. Hey, man, that's some oh, real stop. shit, though. <laughs> shit, that's some real Leave it shit. by the front door. Leave it by the front you door. You got a broke nigga. You done opened the dough and tipped him, too. Oh, that's right. Oh, that, look at that motherfucking <laughs> flat screen. That's not. Nice. <laughs> that's not. <nice. laughs> Be back, yep. out of here, nigga. <laughs> Every nigga who come to your door is one step closer to getting robbed. Every nigga. Yeah. It's, it's about to get bad out here, man. Motherfuckers mm. ain't got no money, man. About to. No. You think a motherfucker... I'm talking about, D, it's bad now. I know. But, can but you I'm imagine? talking yeah. about... Right. It's some motherfuckers out here who entire income was based on something that the pandemic has shut down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some people still can work what they do. Right. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. My whole fucking livelihood is gone. I ain't made no real money in a while. And I'm here to tell you, I wasn't prepared for this shit. I don't respect money. Right. I don't give a fuck. I get some money. I'll be like, I'm gonna get some more. But I ain't never seen no shit this, like this, this before. This is like a Exactly. I'm like, damn, this the is game like is shut down. Is right. Yeah. right? Everything yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 I can't no, go no. do this. They'll arrest you for it. We can rob by a virus. 
I'm, okay. on, I'm online cracking jokes like the niggas who ain't on shit. <laughs> <laughs> you was on it's Ray Ray's, Ray's comedy show online. <laughs> <laughs> Women be shopping. <laughs> Boy, they be shopping. <laughs> now, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> Stop. This nigga got a fly in everything. Oh, God. <laughs> to do his version of what he saw. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this nigga about to pantomime a show. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it's wild, man. Oh, Zoom blew up off, off of the epi epidemic. Everybody Zoom, Zoom blew up off the epidemic, but that shit don't work. And I, had a, that... I had an interview with Dion Cole. Wasn't that with Zoom, Phil? Yeah. We yeah, can't find crazy. that motherfucker. Man. Great interview, too. Yeah. I got to hope Dion to do it again and yeah. shit, man. Mm -mm -mm. And then now they're saying... Uh, because all these people download or uploaded it, that be careful because it was created in, where was it created at? Russia? Now they're saying that, uh, Zoom is from China. China, there you go. And then now they're saying that, that a lot of people have been complaining about certain things happening. Well, yeah, because it was created there and they, they own said, it. I bet they said that at, in the beginning that people were leery before all this happened, the pandemic yeah. to using it because of, uh, viruses and, um, spies. Cause they were saying that they were using it at some point for some spying. I'm doing my shit old fashioned. I got a good old fashioned camera. I'm gonna ask my nigga, man, can we talk in the driveway at your house or something? Just record it and then I'll yeah, put, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm I'm fucked that. Yeah. When you depend on the internet, like my man from Facebook said, this shit is set up to program your mind, right, and get you dependent on it. Mm. That's why all day you just look and see what's on your Facebook. Did somebody say hi to me? That's why on Facebook you get girls who get pictures where they titties is damn near out. And when you DM them and say, what's up, bitch, they be like, why he talking to me like that? <laughs> what? Bitch, your titties was out. I thought it was on. <laughs> I thought it was on. <laughs> oh, you, you a respectful woman, huh? Oh, oh my Funky, God. bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Look, go look for somebody's son to six next to on draft day, bitch. On draft day. Oh, God. Oh, that's too funny. That's funny, man. Man, but, oof. You, you ready, D? Oh. What's that you putting on your fucking arms? Terms. Some of our buddy stuff. Oh. Zeresh. Zeresh? Yeah, oh, it's my favorite one, too. This one, oh. That's the ones you steal. Oh, shush up. D, not... go through that shit and then give us the rest. You know what? Derek knows. He sends me my own. It's separate. It's well, actually... I ain't never had none of that. It, uh... Uh... No. <laughs> D, go through the no. shit. Derek and then knows. put the rest of the shit. Oh, he sent this. Lies. I'm Lies. telling you, homie. I be wanting the good shit. He what is this called? This one is Irie. Would you put my name on the shit? Just write with Do a sharpie. Do a separate box for Corey, please. Oh, there. yes. Thank you. Now I got to get a separate box. Zeresh. Yeah. Zeresh. Uh, uh, uh. It's their What is their name? Is it coconut oil? Zeresh.com. It's Z U R E. E what is the name of the stuff? Oh, this one that I'm using is the Shea Body Blend. I ain't never got a Shea Body Blend. Oh, yes, you have. You've gotten pumice. You've gotten all the different brands, except for the Irie is my favorite. That's the scent. Okay. Where is that, D? Excuse me, you have boxes of that what stuff. Like? Where is it at? Hmm. Huh? And then you got hand sanitizer over there. Thanks, D. Throwing what? that bullshit Excuse across me. the desk. So where is it at? Where are the boxes of the shit? You took that last one. Oh my God! Here, have some of my homemade. What is that? Oh, you made that. Oh, you made that. This is my hand sanitizer. Oh shit! What is it made of? Man? It's the CDC's recipe. Although I'll I, pass it to him. I don't want to. I add. I add more. This is. What is it? It's a hand sanitizer? Yes, it's aloe vera. That's tap water. It's peppermint water. oils, and it's. It's he got not, some Listerine and applesauce in this motherfucker. It's isopropyl. Yeah, dog. Get you some I motherfucking... I followed the recipe. <laughs> some breath freshener applesauce I in this motherfucker. I follow the CDC's Water recipe. Water with chicken broth in it. No, you want to hear what I did? Why it smells so strong? I added instead this of... This is Listerine. Instead of 10 drops of, pep of essential oils, and you can add any scent, I added about 20. It smells like, you know, when you gargle mouthwash and then you spit well, it's into a, a cup. It's peppermint oil, essential oil. It's okay. peppermint. Yeah. That's dope, man. I'm a squirt some Can you get your motherfucking bullshit ass concoction out of here? Oh shit, don't squirt me with that because I'm going to hit you mm -hmm. with this coconut water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man. Ladies and gentlemen. Talk this way. These studies <laughs> hard.
to prepare for her little segment where she gives us information that is necessary. It is bullshit, so remember the loose talk about what is bullshit. Go ahead. This is D's loose talk about bull. bullshit. All right, all right. Say what it you don't, got, D? Say it, don't spread it, Corey. How do you listen. cover your mouth sometime, and then you, you, you well, don't? Well, because you were uh, facing that direction. Now you're facing You got direction. it if I got it. Ah, oh, damn it. Nah. All right. Anyway, after the shutdown, right, of a live-streamed house party in <laughs> Chicago. Kitty! This, this no. past Saturday, uh, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is now asking residents to please anonymously report tips about house parties. She hinted that not just that those that organize and put any parties on. Did you see the picture? I think I sent you a picture of them. Um, and that's just one room, by the way. The entire property was filled with people. They say they claim maybe a thousand people were at this. That's a big ass house. Uh, but they were outside, inside, oh. in the back, everything. So they said all the, all the areas of the house look like that. I mean, you can't see it from here. It's kind of small for, uh, for us to see it. Uh, anyway, she hinted, that's the, um, organize any of these parties um, or put them on. We'll, they will all be issued citations uh, as a last resort, maybe even um, arrested. As for the gathering that was live streamed, the owner of the building was hit with fines and cited, they cited her for disorderly conduct. She, they say she violated... A state stay-at-home orders. The fees will be determined by the courts at a later date. And the city's alderman said that the owner has been put on official notice. Now, reports are coming in that the owner's adult kid was to blame for the dangerous party. Apparently, he had keys to the empty place and had disarmed the alarms for the party. It hasn't been mentioned if the owner knew her son was doing it. Uh, the mayor did say that everyone who attended the event eventually uh, will, who, who was seen on camera who participated in it will be held accountable, saying that uh, what happened in that scene was just foolish and reckless, and there's got to be a level of personal responsibility during this time. They about to break her pockets. Get your ugly ass out of here, life foot. <laughs> You mad because wouldn't nobody come to a party you threw, you furly <laughs> off threes company looking motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> now, Joy! I, oh, 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 oh. I don't so like you, her. Would you have gone, Corey? Oh, you know this person. I, I ain't going. No, the governor? He oh, don't okay. know. He Someone knows who The mayor, the ugly like bitch. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, just you, like yours. You seen the picture I posted of me and her? Wait, uh -uh. wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This shit wait, got like a Craig, you're right. I was like, bitch, look just like me, man. Oh. I can't believe it. I'm like, who the fuck? Hey, nigga, I got so many motherfuckers. <laughs> She's related that to That bitch look like Lil Wayne if he starred his hair over. Hey, 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 wait, hey. wait, look. <laughs> <laughs> I got the same hair, dude. You got the yeah, same yeah, haircut. Crazy. So anyway, yeah, they're, they're trying to catch all those people that were the party. I don't know. They're probably just... I wouldn't be at that party. I wouldn't go to no party right now. And it, it was kind of... I'm saying like a party is different than like a, a comedy show. A party is literally rubbing on people and mingling with people in a way a motherfucker so be close. right there talking to you like, so what's up with you, man? Uh, yeah. Oh, they were like this. I mean, people were right here. It was like, and then, and then one person out of the entire room I saw was like, had the nerve to have a, a mask on. Everybody else is free, just know, free flowing. I know of a comedian who passed from Corona, right? But who? Uh, his name is Jay Wills. He's from what? I'm not going to say it was from Corona, but he possibly could have lived. But when the paramedics got to the crib, they refused to give him CPR because they didn't know if he had it or not. Oh, wow. Who's Jay Will? I can imagine that. So he's a, a comedian. Rest in peace, Jay. Shout out to your mom. He's from Virginia. He was in a wheelchair. He used to come on that roast show I, I used to be on. <gasps> Oh, that's oh. terrible. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. Oh, my. They, they, they wouldn't get a CPR. Nah, they was like, nah. That reminded me of that Richard Pryor joke where his nuts was on fire. He said, Junior, blow on him. Blow on him, Junior. <laughs> Junior said, there'll be some burnt motherfuckers if I got to blow on him. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. Blow on him, Junior. Man. Y'all niggas got to take this shit serious because mm -hmm. if you get sick, they don't have to. Uh, the paramedics, if you're in a dire situation and you have it, they don't have to help your ass. They'll take you to the hospital, but they ain't got to do mouth to mouth or, you know, do all the shit that they normally do. You know what I'm saying? They could be like, nah, I don't want to risk it. I got mm. a family. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm. Y'all be careful, man. Don't be throwing parts. If you already, like, gone and they could trying to bring Try you to back. Try to bring you back to yeah. life. Right. Necessitates mm -hmm. you. Yeah. 
<laughs> you better hope that nothing Corey happens in here and Corey has to hey. do CPR because oh, you are not going to get it. Nah, man. Yeah, he's not going to, you're not going to make it. He'll pass on that. <laughs> Sarah, give me mouth to mouth. Won't Sarah, you know? you'll give it to him? Me too, yeah. No, we would we would protect him. I'm saying, God forbid, something happened to one of us, and it was only Corey here. He wouldn't see, do CPR on us. I wouldn't do CPR on who? On anybody. Here. Can Ash Wind bring you back if somebody fart in your mouth? Oh my God! <laughs> Nigga, wake up like. You definitely don't want to be here, Craig. <laughs> right, right. It's, you know, I mean, shit. Wind is wind. The lungs don't know if it's ass wind or mouth wind, right? Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. So, do you give somebody mouth to mouth? You eat crickets? No, I said I would. I'm saying I don't think you would if if it was just. I don't think D get grossed out by shit that everybody else would get grossed. I out do by. not. It's very rare. I can't even think of anything that I'm grossed what out if about. You put, if you cup your, uh, you could do that. Will that work? Do that again, mm. Craig. If it's strong enough, if it. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. If it's, nigga if it's strong enough that. to lift the chest, yes, to put the air in, sure, but you mo it probably won't because it'll Big escape. Craig. There you go. Yeah, real Anyway, what if All you right. get a fan and you, and you get a piece of paper and you cup it around the mouth and then you blow the wind from the fan? But you still yeah. gotta suck. <laughs> suck up. You gotta no. suck they wind up. Look, y'all fucking my mouth to mouth. Oh. <laughs> this is a bad bitch. <laughs> Bitch, I got to suck up. No, you don't. Oh, that's it. We don't want his help, Sarah. People done did freaky shit in the world. Not while you need help. Some people you like to suck on. Some people you won't even <laughs> kiss. Other people you had a tongue all in your mouth. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Greg said that is suck true. Suck the back of their teeth and everything. Some people, <laughs> and the other people, you'll be like, bitch, get your dumb ass away from me. Your mouth stinks. You stupid. All right. It's got to be more. They've evolved every other thing medically, especially mm -hmm. technology. It's got to be another way to get wind into a mouth besides mouth to mouth. They need a mouth wind machine where you just sit there <laughs> and squeeze the thing. Yeah, but you don't want to hesitate on something. That's why when it's just people around, you can immediately give, you know, resuscitation. So you can mm -hmm. do that. I mean, they do have the little plastic coverings, the little mouth guards. Yeah, the little okay. mouth guards. You have them in a little... Karen, okay. people that know it carry it. Anyway, um, so while in New Jersey, uh, many discovered this video that went viral that the woman in the video is a local math teacher from a high school there. So allegedly what happened was, uh, I don't even say allegedly, but I'm saying by the name of Nicole Griggs, and it was the local newspaper that helped with the identity, was caught on camera yelling at some teens who were tossing football around at a local park. Now, even though the teens did admit later that they made a bad decision, and, but it was what she was yelling to them. And they got her on tape, and they, I mean, they recorded her, and they put it, put it out. Um, she said to them, I hope both of you get the coronavirus. I hope you both die a long, painful death. Then she said, the park's closed, you idiots. The whole area, the whole area is. Get it through your thick heads. And she said, you're the reason we're in this situation. You're the problem, not the solution. Now, after noticing one of the teens was videotaping her, she still went on. And she said, go ahead, keep recording. Who are you going to show it to? Post me on social media. I don't care. You're the idiots doing the wrong thing. I'm just trying to save your ass and save your life by saying that. Anyway, um, so one of the kids noticed and said, wait, that looks like, you know, Mrs. What was her last name? Uh, Briggs. Anyway, he noticed her, and but he kept recording. And the superintendent said that they've now launched an investigation into the video and promised to, to address this issue immediately. Still, no word if it was immediately and happened over the weekend. The went so far and no word back, and apparently now she's blocked her social media. But can you imagine that? Like, wishing infectious? And she's a teacher at their high school. Right. She's happened wow. to live in the area next to the park. But I know what's wrong with her. Whoever she fucking don't want her. So it makes her spew out awful shit. There she shit. is right there. But see, when the picture's that now you can't see him that what big. Where the bitch but at? 
Is the bitch walking a dog? Even the dog looked like he wanted to get away. If you look at the video, because you can look the video after a break, the dog Most bitches like walking dogs are not happy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most bitches who walk dogs are not happy. They're well, very miserable happy, people. Especially dog multiple dogs. Huh? One dog, but multiple? You know what I'm saying? You're really looking for happiness. It didn't work with the first dog, oh, and now you got you another one. They normally stink, because uh. they got them dog walking shoes. They leave at the door. <laughs> Yes, she, she always <laughs> stepped her up in the Right, one smashed up on the back. And <laughs> My shit. thing is, bitch, what you doing at the park? Right. You at you the park too? Did she have on a mask when she was talking? No. And it that was bitch spreading away. corona. You could already tell what was wrong. Yeah. She, she got already, corona all on that fence. And she was hating on the kids because I didn't put everything in there, but she was yelling. I'm like, do I have to yell? Do I have to come close? Do I have to yell it louder over your music? Because like right. you can't hear me. Right. And she just had like major attitude. Yeah. Yeah, but you know. Saying something like that, if you said that to me, I don't know, man. Oof. It's crazy. So My neighbor keep going out, letting his little, he got two young sons, and him and his wife be out there while the little boys be exercising and shit. That's and right. I don't even like his wife, like, how she look. It's just because I could tell she a good woman, and she be there for him. I want to fuck her one day when he That's the same one that you talked about before. Yeah, he's he's got he's you've got it. I don't even like her. It, I, it ain't like that. I just know she a good person. Right. So then why would you want to mess with a, a good person? Ugh. Because I don't fuck a lot of good people. Oh my god. So you'd want to mess with somebody. You know how else's... rare it is to find a good person. You want to mess with somebody's situation, right? So why would you want to mess their thing up? I ain't got to mess their thing up, dude. Ain't got to know. Oh my lord. Mm-mm-mm-mm. See, what you talk about? All these women out here be fucking somebody else with somebody else don't know. Right. Poor woman. She don't know. She got a neighbor that's out gunning for her, you know? I'm going to get her one day. It's oh, just right God. now. I feel like they need each other and shit. But, like, I think he drinks sometimes. Oh, he don't drink he enough. Him. He needs to get fucked up. Who's she... Who's that? Theodore Livingston said, what if they're watching the show? They don't watch the show. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> she a good no, person. They're, 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 they're like from, what, what, they're the Spanish people from South America. Yeah. What, what does that, that mean? What is that called? What, is, what are the South American people called? No, but why, what's the difference? They're like still when Latinos. You said, they're still Latinos. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. But you said they're from South America. Like what, are they more crazy or are they more? No, I'm more just saying, they're not. From Corona, where you from, D? You know what? That's South America really got less silly. silver teeth in their mouth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my no, because God. Re the, re the Red Cross you got a dental program. <laughs> they got a dental program below the equator where they get free <laughs> dentistry. Yeah, they use bamboo yeah, instead. You fly out there. I just feel like she's a nice person. Right. That's what's attractive. She's such a nice person. Oh, my God. Leave the you nice You just got to tell her, be. God told you to tell her. That's how you get nice women. You're just not going to, God told me to tell you that. Oh, my God. That right. he has a plan for you. Well, they had a new car, and it was like an 01, and they was proud of it. Oh, you got her 01? Yeah. They had an 01, <laughs> but it was a new car to them. Yeah. And I'd be like, boy, I, I know I can get this fuzzy. Oh, my God. I want that yeah. uncomfortable feeling walking out the house. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Where and dude then they, be like, hey, Corey. I'd be like, hey. And then she's like, oh, oh God, oh, God. Buy her a new steering wheel cover. That'd be a good, right. you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, my God. You know, the old ones, the steering wheel is all <laughs> ate up. I'm going to give her a Rick James tape. <laughs> <laughs> the more ones still come with tape players. Oh, my God. When I get home last night. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> yeah, but that, that probably would be some of the easiest pussy. You, anybody driving an old one is going to give you some pussy. I think she's a nurse or something, but she takes care of her and, her and him. They both work. I think she still works because nurses are still in demand. Right. And um, he's just at home taking care of the kids. Oh, wow. And when she gets off, I'm, I, I don't know. I just be... Poor woman, yeah. but she don't even know. I be like, there she go. There she go. <laughs> oh, speaking, that's a good segue. And she's so nice. She's always, hi. That's one of my favorite hey. baby face songs. But, anyway. but I've never came at her. I've never done nothing like that. Well, not that. yet. But, <laughs> but, exactly, I felt like... I hey, if she <laughs> give me to go ahead in any uh, way... If yeah. she ever say, hi, Corey, I'm going to be like, yeah. <laughs> hey, buy her AAA for a year. That's like $60. Hey, 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You feel me, baby? I noticed you was driving an old one. Things you can buy to fuck a girl driving an old one. <laughs> And you can buy the little adapter where you could uh, 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 adapt tapes to oh, CD. Oh, the tapes right. to CD. <laughs> Seat covers, nigga. Uh, right. You yeah, can get the yeah. bubbled up tent pulled off and put fresh yeah. ones on. I get her a big radio from Best Buy to put in the back <laughs> seat. Back. I know a hubcap missing. Put her on some Twankies. Get her yeah. some dubs. I know oh, she loves some Twankies. Lord. Do you know how that 01 Infinity look, car? That 01 is white or beige looking? I'm going to look it up right now. Oh my. 01 Infinity Q whatever sedan. She got the only Infinity with no numbers on it. Is 35 she? or 50, not a 50. But it has low <laughs> miles. It has low miles. Hey, you know your Infinity ain't shit if it ain't got no numbers on it. It's just a Q. She got a Q. Somebody say my headband made of glitter. <laughs> Hell realist. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Know. Anyway, okay. So, I, speaking of. There she go. When you said there she goes, one of my favorite uh, baby face songs. Anyway, um, on some on a better note, want to wish a belated happy 62nd birthday to Kenneth Babyface Edmonds, who, by the way, um, has now been cleared because he was um, he had the virus. He's now tested negative. You talking about Babyface? Baby face? Yeah. Teddy Riley. Hey, he, that nigga really at least got, Teddy, got, Teddy Riley malfunction got fixed quick, nigga. <laughs> oh, that Lord, nigga here we really go. really has a baby face. So, what? baby face. Craig, I'm going to give you another pair. Oh, my mama, he looked like a you fucking. You grabbed your fist oh, and acted like, oh, like the can. greatest nine-year-old of all time, nigga. Baby face looked young, man. Why baby you? face looked like a literal female puffy. Oh, what? Yeah. So y'all didn't see he did the facial recognition on his phone and, and it gave him directions to a daycare. Like, Baby that's face how and oh puffy Lord. look the same. Oh, stop. <laughs> just me? Yes, it is. It I, is. They, re they don't resemble each no. other? No. Hey, what's up with Teddy Riley, though? That nigga, man. He looks yep, like yep. smart. His music is, 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 is banging, though. But Well, anyway, so, um, sorry. Let me cut you off. Um, he, he, t he tested negative. Uh, now he's on his way to full uh, recovery. But now it wasn't just him. He and his entire family, so his wife and his child, uh, he said that, that lives with them anyway. He said that he'd like to thank everyone for all the many birthday wishes and that he feels so blessed to be able to celebrate another one. He said he and his family tested positive for the COVID-19 virus um, and that it was an incredibly scary thing. He urges fans to stay home, stay safe. He posted the message up along with the same message the night that he accepted the invitation to the versus battle, which you're talking about. You know what he happened. took to, to get rid of it, though? His whole family. Did he thank TLC for their money? <laughs> he, didn't do, he didn't do the stealing of that. No, you know what they he took, though? He didn't do any of the stealing of that. you hear what she said? He hmm. wrote songs for them, but he didn't do that. That was the Pebbles. So it was only Pebbles who took their money, not Babyface? They didn't say Babyface. Did they ever, have you ever heard him say that Babyface did? I heard him say that. Really? Phil, heard. what about you? You heard him say I thought it was just pebbles. Feel like don't put Management. me in that shit. No, uh huh. Yeah. He wrote it. It was in on the rip off. Hey, you know you what it took to get rid of this shit though? What? He took whip appeal. Oh, he Lord. took whip appeal. Whole oh, family took a whip of pill. Mm -hmm. Wop, 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 wop. Fuck you, nigga. I got that whip of pill. Uh, uh, but his uh, roster is ridiculous. They gonna make a meme of that. Hell yeah. Maybe Face took a whip of pills to get that shit out. It's dumb. Oh, no, he, he, Come on, man. It's, like, not just his, but all that he wrote. Yeah. And, oh, He's a monster. God. What, what, did Teddy he, really what, did, what was that song? Nobody told me for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, damn, damn. Nobody knows oh, yeah. but me. Mm. <laughs> That's what happened when he first so found out people. about Corona. Nobody. See, I, knew. Teddy Riley surprised me though. Did he? Yeah, because you, you never know when they write for. I was for a when he started cracking. I was a baby. I didn't realize that he he like he got three solid decades. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You said you didn't surprise. Well, you was around for all his shit, but he surprised me. No, man. I mean I'm just saying. He another motherfucker who robbed motherfuckers too. Yeah. How old are you again, Craig? I was born in '82. Okay. Born in '82. That was Corey's senior year in high school. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stop. I had yeah. my I had my King Senior the year that's, after that's that in '83. That is ridiculous. I was in sixth grade, Greg. For real? No. For real? Nah. Hell no. Nah. Greg, you're not you that much six. younger than me. You my sister age. You're like a year or two older than my sister. How old are you, Craig? I'm 38. 38? Yeah. Wait. You you you. You old enough to where you were spending Where your, your sister at, Nick? <laughs> 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 
Nobody <laughs> knows <laughs> it for me. Now you you were spending your Burger King checks on like Michael Jackson oh. jackets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, was and, he a Burger and, King and, or did he work at the drugstore where yeah. he was stealing? Now he had a he had a whole lot of breakdance cardboard at the crib. I know you did. Do you go? <laughs> oh stop! Now Phil, nah, the Phil, that's another. Story. Phil's the only person I can ever say is around me that's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's me. I'm usually the oldest person in the room. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Anyway, it's the last thing. So, Dr. Dre, another mega producer, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine um, are donating money for free meals and coronavirus testing in the entire city of Compton. For, an for any Compton resident, uh, and they say the purpose of providing aid during the ongoing pandemic, um, this uh, donation will help cover medical testing supplies and free meals. So, and they stress that people should do that very same thing for their own community. So, you know what's weird about the coronavirus, though? It's two things. The first thing is like, this is a version of it. SARS and MERS are actually two other forms of corona, which mm -hmm. were epidemics. You're going to get fired off Fox News. But the I weird thing about that. it is, though, yes. the, the weird thing about it is it, it can be transferred or caught in so many different ways, but you can't get it through like a blood transfusion, which I think is kind of weird. And they've been they've been telling people to go donate blood mm -hmm. because, you know, blood banks are getting low or whatever. You want you believe that shit? Let's For real do talk, it. real talk though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my blood up because <laughs> Craig said you can't get it. They've been asking Craig people to donate blood, right? Craig fact. Yeah. If, if you eat a Corona pussy, you're going to be coughing. You're that's what I'm saying. You can get it through eating pussy, but not through a blood trend. No, never mind. And anyway, I want to end it by the versus battle. We were just talking about Babyface and uh, Teddy. Yeah. So I, I just want to end it because this story is a good segue from Dre. So they asked uh, Puffy on uh, Fat Joe's uh, podcast the other night if he was interested in doing the versus battle with um, against Dre, so they're apparently working on it. That'd be a good one. Yeah, so there you go. Wow. Puffy, got, Puffy got a lot of hits, man. He got a lot of hits. And Dre's produced a lot, but... Dre's a, a, is a better artist, but I don't think Dre, his activity level hasn't been as active as Puffy. As Puffy's, yeah, all yeah. that. Why, because he ain't been dancing and shit? You know what, stop. Dre, Dre's no, he's such a perfectionist. Dre's such a perfectionist. Yeah, he's very picky, you're right. He don't put music he out as much as everybody, because I feel like he's so dope at what he do, he just, he won't lie. What'd you say, Phil? The guy has created three forces. Oh, no, Dre's a genius. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, you know, I think less is more. I think you practice that. Like, genius level niggas just don't let everybody have access to what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it ain't going to be genius no more. It's going to get normal to motherfuckers if just anybody could have Like the dude who make my jackets. Right. Someone was like, why you ain't got these jackets online? He said, they ain't for everybody. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm glad you ain't got it online because I don't want motherfuckers to have what I got when it comes to jackets and shit. Right. The jackets yeah. are exclusive and they cost Very. money where you got to spend some money to get one of these motherfuckers. Right. Mm -hmm. I, can't even see, I can't even see Dre doing it because I feel like he... It ain't creative enough. I don't think you would want to. He, yeah, because what I can do, spin you know it. It would take it. Then they'd have to get a special. Uh, each one of them DJs. Mm. I mean, Puffy doesn't DJ. Certain so. personality types like the Corys and the Dre's, mm. they don't like doing shit that everybody else is doing. Mm. Oh, I thought you was gonna oh, get oh, me. Oh, oh. No, no, I'm paying. I'm paying homage. homage. Real spit though. When uh, when you're dealing with real genius motherfuckers, I feel like mm. they get turned off when some shit is just regular and everybody can do it it may it, beca it, it just ain't no it ain't fun no more when it get when shit get like that you know so we'll see what happens well that. that's what's up what we finna do right now because d is done with her loose talk about bullshit am i right yeah we're going to take a quick break and see what we can do to do what it do y'all know what i'm talking about oh yeah we'll be back we out
This is the 5150 Industry Repo Show. We repossessing the motherfucking talent around the town and we're giving you the people that's worth watching instead of that sucker shit that's on cable right now. We got my band with me tonight and we have thought of some songs that are quite interesting. We ain't finna explain this shit. You know how we do. Give me the beat, band. Yeah. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. All you niggas wait in line. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. While all you niggas wait in line. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. Yeah. You gon' find your bitch be lying. I'm fucking that bitch all the goddamn time. I'm fucking your bitch at the grocery store. While all you niggas wait in line. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. While all you niggas wait in line. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. Ain't no toilet paper, motherfucker. Your girl on the floor, cause she my hoe, and this the way this shit gon' go. Yeah. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. Yeah, y'all niggas be sitting, y'all. Letting your girl sit in the car while you wait in yeah. line. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Come back, boy. You don't know what just happened. Somebody just finger fuck your bitch while she was Fuck sitting in the car while you was in the store. Nigga left your car door like this. Fucking your bitch at the grocery store. All you niggas waiting in line. Fucking your bitch by the grocery store. All you niggas waiting in line. Fucking your bitch by the grocery store. Waiting in line. That picture ain't that fine. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> this show is mine. <laughs> Yo, bitch you at the grocery store. store. I'm about to fuck you, hoe. Uh. I know them lips can blow. <laughs> Go down low. Huh. Everybody saw me fuck your bitch at the grocery store. Even the fuck girls your bitch by the in the other cars, store. they saw me fucking your bitch. Listen to them. Tell them. Fuck your bitch by the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your bitch by the grocery store. Yeah, y'all hear him? <laughs>
<laughs> Lick the tree. What's up, y'all? We back in this bitch. I hate diggers who just post girl pictures on they whole motherfucking page. Because then girl? you look at it. It right. be a picture of a girl, but they just always got a picture of a girl on their page. You be yeah. like, you motherfucker. <laughs> ain't got shit going on for itself. Yeah. Virtual pimping. Virtual pimping. You know. That's the future. <laughs> That's the future. Meet a, bitch, meet a bitch in the chat room, man. But not really. He's just advertising for him, so he's a sucker. Yeah. Yeah, he's a sucker for me. I'm looking at some of these motherfuckers talking shit in the chat room. Oh, yeah. They do. Caveman music. <laughs> <laughs> not in it for the money records. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Corey got on Black Forces. <laughs> what I got on? No, I got on some, some Kobe's. Ready? Do it. Lift it up. You need help? Okay. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. Mm. R.I.P. Kobe. Yeah. Mm. Like mama. Wash your feet! <laughs> on draft day. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a song, motherfucker. A blues record. Come on in with that beat, Sarah. Sarah, smile. Smile, smile, smile. Won't you smile a while for me, Sarah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, this is dedicated to all the sucker ass niggas who take their special day on draft day and bring a funk ass monkey carrier to the crib. Let's hit a Craig a D. I got a bitch at my mama's house on draft day. 
Ya satu. Ya satu. I got a bitch at my mama's house on NFL draft day. Oh, I don't know what she doing. Yeah. But later on we gonna be screwing on draft day. On draft day. Check it out. Talk to him now. The bitch came over to wish me love. But I'm here to fuck this bitch after I found out where I'm playing. She won't be staying at my mama house all goddamn night. Cause after I nut, you got damn right. Bitch, you got to go. For sure. Your Uber be here at four. Got a bitch at my mama's house. Bitch at my mama house on draft day. Sometimes they be on the left. What? It's a bitch and she over, looking over my shoulder. Met her when I was a freshman, and she won't get to step in. Can't really tell the bitch nothing, cause she know I'm getting money now. Acting real funny like we real close and shit. But I'm like, bitch, I know the games you play, and the lame things you say to them dames you play with on the weekend. And I'm just here for you to get some of that pussy, and then I'm gone, we broke. Got a bitch at my mama's house on draft day. Bitches are here to get skeeted on, skeeted on. And not touching your goddamn telephone Homie, you supposed to grab your phone out her hand And demand that bitch lick you on your yams <laughs> Bitch, how you get my card that fast? <laughs> <laughs> bitch at mama's house on draft day Bitch, you ain't ever bought me no cleats or took me to a practice, but you a needle in my side like a cactus. And I don't know what to say, but every game that I play, you better cheer, hooray. And if you don't give me one frown, I'ma lay your ass down. Cause I'm an NFL player, bitch, and I'm breaking new ground. And it's like that. It's like I'm a rich that. nigga now. Took my family out the ghetto. I ain't no bitch nigga now. Don't hug me like you care, bitch. <laughs> Suck my dick <laughs> on camera, y'all. I got a bitch at my mama's house on draft day. I got a bitch at my mama's house. There she go again. On draft day. It ain't you working out like I thought. A nigga playing special teams and they thinking about cutting me and fucking up my dream. I should have kept the bitch and now I'm desperate and I need another bitch. Be a wide receiver for this thing. Don't be acting all strange. For your ass get slang. Slang. <laughs> they don't find Get the naked so I can bang. On draft day. Look. I'm here to smell your poo tang. Now I got the blues, Corey. They done fired the coach. He done changed the game plan. I don't fit in no more, and I'm no longer the man. My rushing yards was too low. Now I feel like a hoe, because everywhere that I go is trade rumors on the low. If you're in the first round, that means that it's about to be something good in your life. But if you're in the first town round, don't be sitting down by nobody but your direct family or your wife. If you in the first round, you probably gonna get enough money to buy yourself a car and a house. Yeah. If you in the first round, explain to that bitch, it's my job to skeet in your mouth. I you got a bitch at my mama's house. house. On draft day. Yes, I do. Mm. Woo. Bitch. How, 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 how. Hey. Yo, 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 yo. Uh. Hey. It's them old blues. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Them niggas used to yodel. Remember them niggas used to yodel? Do 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 do
<laughs> Me and this bitch about to get naked and have some motherfucking fun. Yeah. Have it your way <laughs> at Burger King. Yeah. They'll taco me. Yeah. It tastes like the bit of the beginning of spring. I couldn't think of shit. Fuck. Uh. Yeah. This beat me want this beat made me want to say. Shut the fuck up, Ernestine. <laughs> Go in the kitchen and cook for me tonight. Yeah. Go in the kitchen, you funk ass dyke. Yeah. Go in the kitchen and do something right. Next time when you cook, turn on the light. Yeah. And my mama's crib <laughs> on draft day. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. On draft day. Niggas doing uh. the blues on the 5150 yeah. show. The blues. We got the blues in it. Yeah. I ain't never dated a white girl till I became the man. And I had a thousand yards and they started shaking my hand. But I ain't forgot, bitch. When I first met your dad, he took a shower after the hug. Bitch ass nigga. My bitch pussy is pink on the outside too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only place it ain't that pink is right where the hole is when she boo boo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this nigga still in the Why your asshole dark gray? Dark gray? <laughs> you can't sit that on my face. No, you can't. Your asshole is the color of the sky. <laughs> right when it's finna get dark at night. <laughs> I got a bitch. At my mama's house, house. on the couch on draft day. Yeah. I realize you don't really like me that much. Uh oh. Great one. <laughs> oh. Oh, they want some more? Hey. D, you got a rap? Come on now. I got a rap. Cause you was with a rapper. You can no. think of something. No. Recite something. You ever realize a woman don't like you, but she like what she do for you? Fuck it, I'm a rap like D. You know. I got the blues, man. Crickets! 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 I'm, I'm a cook it! Get, I'm trying not to get bit. Look, look at Crickets. Him. What? Oh, that ain't no mosquito. Yes, it is. That's the new, that's the new one. On Asia. this West Coast, they call yeah. little critters they mosquitoes. Asia. They came here two years ago from Asia. I'm not kidding. Look them up. Damn. What they, the Asian mosquitoes? They came they, from the trade ships. They right. inject you with soy sauce? This week we doing a show. It's called a motherfucking repo show. Repo oh, show. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 150. I want to let everybody know. This repo Friday show. about the repo show. Repo show. 8 o'clock West Coast. Repo show. Mm. The repo show. Repo show. Repo. That's 11 on the East Coast. That's 10 o'clock in the Midwest. The Repo Show. They the best. Yeah. Nigga. So, we got a special guest. Everybody, this Friday on the Repo Show, how many of y'all motherfuckers heard of the homegirl Jill Scott? This week we gonna have a bitch you saw at home concert. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have Jill Scott. <laughs> on the repo show. On the repo Sarah show. Sarah got her braids done. On the repo show. Are them dreadlocks or is they just braids? What'd she say? Oh, they're faux locks. She oh. got faux locks in her head. Faux locks. And they fresh look Bo like dreads. The bottom of them okay. color red. Somebody selling false locks? Didn't know that existed. Who the fuck would put artificial in their hair in their head and get it twisted? That's crazy to me. Just wait till your shit grow. That's lazy to me. <laughs> and I don't really understand the plan because I got hair follicles missing, but I'm still the man. Oh, shit. And I'm going to wait on my shit to come in. And I don't want to walk around falsified with a blend. Fake hair ain't bad, shit. 
I'll be sad if a bitch came through with a bald ass head talk about take this ass. Uh, I'll be like, look here, bitch. You need to get your hairline stitched. I can't fuck no bald head hoe unless I could tell in a couple of months that shit gonna grow. But some of these bitches, you know they hair gone. Cause it's been <laughs> 10 years on the throne. Respect. Any nigga wearing a wig gets disrespected by his kids. And that's just the way this shit is. Niggas accept they flaws. We don't cover them up, nigga. Be a man. Stop trying to double up on that vain shit. And if you feel this, I'ma kill it. But if not, I'ma leave your hair with a knot. And that's how it works. Just cause you ain't got no hair. Don't mean them bitches won't be there. <laughs> Grow a goatee, compensate. Go to the gym, dominate. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. It's all good. It's all good. Shit. You know what I'm saying? About to wrap up the show. About to wrap it up. Niggas gotta go home in quarantine with a bitch that's me. You what know, you doing after this? This. Man, what you on? Man, I'm chilling. Nigga, you know, just chilling. Chilling. You know some weird shit, I think? Niggas that play the guitar probably have fingers that stink. And they don't wash them after a good show. They put them up to the nose of a hole so they can know what they stand for. I always said about bitches that do hair. Don't touch my dick until you wash right there. Right there. Wash it, bitch. Back of your knees. It's musty. You know that little compartment between where your calf been and your motherfucking quadriceps end? That shit smell like a there you in. That's a hotel where prostitutes live at. Huh? And I don't know what the fuck to give back, but I'm gonna take it all and never return it. And if it's bullshit paperwork, I'm gonna burn it because I'm the type of nigga to earn it. I like to fart in the tub. <laughs> it's only me, so I don't give a fuck. Then you got any testimony for the crowd. Any testimony? To let everybody know how you're living out loud. <laughs> I'm living just good. What you doing after the show, D? What's going on? What do you mean? You got to work early? No. Oh, D. What do you mean, ah, oh, D? Why? Was I missing out on something? Was there something I didn't get the memo to? It's so fucked up. Huh? Sometimes we all go eat. But I'm tired of that rice down the street. Oh, I, I already ate. Remember, I was eating during the break. I still have a whole container left over there of vegetable lo mein. Uh, yeah. Well, check it out. As we wrap up the show, because it's time to go, I'm about to throw these raps down low. Everybody got to listen to the show on Friday. The Repo Show. The Repo Show, we come in here with a band. And I'm the motherfucking man. We interview guests sometimes on the couch. Sometimes we doubt if they will show up, so we videotape. That way, we can do a show with new people on it. Yeah. Put it on the video and flaunt it. You know what you need, a only, only fans. Real spit, though. I can't. You should get only fans. Can I say something real quick? And only fans. Of course you can say something, D. No, I didn't know if we had to wait for the music in. Okay. You anyway. The music you heard me, though? No, for real. Sarah, were we able to show those names during the break? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, next week, then? Maybe next I week? I wish I would have remembered to bring my headband. Uh, Maybe only Dude fans. from Cincinnati. The names that What's I said? What's my man? Yeah. Oh. Okay, no worries. So anybody who... um that I put down on the list that ordered the last two weeks. We'll show it next week. We had some problems uh, during the break. So we'll you show put it. put them sweatshirt dresses up? Yeah. And um, yeah, everything's up. Uh, but I also wanted to say uh, you have to let us know when you place an order in your order notes if it's OK to say where you're from. And I've stated that. It's so odd. I don't know why people are afraid, I guess. Some people are hiding. I don't know. But... Some people don't want their shit put on blast. Just All like... right. Well, not even the city. But anyway, two people were the only people that said, <laughs> we'll show it next week. But so 
there's way more than this, but just two that actually said it's okay to say where they're from. And one is Nanakau Baden. He's from London, UK fam. Hey. And then the other one was Tony Faison from Memphis, Tennessee. Go on, Tony. So there you go. Those are the only ones. But next week, and, and Janai Kelly, thank you so much. She's a triple platinum purchaser. I don't even want to say how much she spent. Man, thank you so much, girl. And it, we'll show all the names next week so you have time. And I'll add them for next week's break. So there you go. This yeah. week, man, look, we need to get that beat. What's that Eric B. and Rakim beat? Oh, I wonder, can we play that shit? Can you play beats? They're flag beats, no, never mind. Oh, that if it's, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna come up with a beat that we can play where I can yell out everybody on this cash app shit. Oh, the, ooh, that would be nice, There's yeah. It's a beat where I can come up with a little slick ass shit to say about everybody. On cash app, they don't let you really respond like you want to, they just got no. this. <laughs> just a receipt. With a little heart. <laughs> I'll be having an issue. If you cash at me for product, make sure to put your address in the, in the description. And if they do catch out, what you should do is make a list like how we just did that for the merchandise folks, mm -hmm. and then just show it, like post it up on your on your Instagram. Thank you. Yeah. If it's okay to say their name, I don't know. Really? Anyway, thank you all. So we'll show it next week. All right, so I'm gonna go find me something to eat since I'm a late starter and shit. Mm -hmm. Shit, what's gonna be open? Just it's some open. Crave be open. For real? Buffalo Wild Wings. See, you were just talking about them. Where's Buffalo Wild Wings? Actually, Buffalo Wild Wings don't be having no good wings, and they never make them like I like them. We should nah, try, they huh? Is, and they're open yeah. late? Oh. They're open till 11, goddammit. And Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A Chick in West Hollywood Coast. is open till, uh, till 1 a.m. I think I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A in Hollywood. Everybody who ain't doing shit, 51, 50 Holcomb will be in Chick-fil-A. Oh, shoot. At about 1045. Yep. I don't give a fuck. Kitty I got corner, that thing in my car. God damn it. You can play with me if you want to. Hollywood High. You yeah. can show me some love, God damn it. Oh, but God damn it. Mm -hmm. 10.45, uh -huh. I'm going to be in Chick-fil-A in Hollywood. Oh, I'm showing you love, everybody who don't be. I show love. But some motherfuckers be like, nigga, what the fuck? I be like, nigga, I got that God damn it on me. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck with me. I'm scared of you, nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, West. <laughs> wow, wow, West, motherfucker. Yeah. Come on, Peace deep cover. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Miss yeah. Lips, haven't seen you in a long time. Draft day. <laughs> My man, Obi, I be getting so, I be, Obi. Obi from Cincinnati. He um Oh, he makes all the stuff. Too, he huh? makes a lot of shit. Yeah. I keep forgetting to bring these goddamn headbands. He had a gray one he made me. He made that. It hat. would be perfect for he, me to wear with this outfit, but I'm gonna Oh, he made you. those. Obi yeah. made this hat. It was some people asked me, why don't you sell these hats, Corey? I'm like, shit, somebody sent me that hat. Yeah, right. Obi did. That's a nice hat. Yeah, he I wish that. I wish I could fit this motherfucker. Obi, but Obi gave me a red hat. A 5150 hat. It was a fitted hat for yeah. big head motherfuckers like me. Where'd it go? Obi. Obi. What is, what, what, I, he, I think he sells stuff too. Yes, he get, does. Get your product yeah. shit together. We're going to promote your shit on the show, Obi. Yeah, Jelly Bean. I need, the I need some Jelly Bean shit. What jelly is Bean. Shit? Customized stuff. Yeah. Oh, so hats and Jelly Beans? That's weird as a motherfucker. Man, no, Obi. the name of the company is called Jelly oh, Bean like... Merchandise <laughs> or something, something really. Yeah. That's what he, he made those too. See those street name plaques? Oh, L Tabs, yeah. Boulevard, and 5050. Man, man, them boxes. Over here, butterscotch jelly beans. That's OB go. shit. Butterscotch jelly beans. There it is. Brother out of Cincinnati. God damn it, he has a vision. I'm telling you. That's some quality work. I'm fucking with y'all. See, I see a That's vision. That's messed up. That's for everybody who He's know him. Blind. <laughs> He's blind. Uh -huh. <laughs> he made that shit and he blind? Man, OB be doing you know? a lot of shit, man. OB a good dude, man. Yeah. Every time I'm in. Anywhere in Ohio, Obi be right there. What up? Mm -hmm. I be like, man, what up, Joe? That when you start getting on this road, you're going to meet people mm -hmm. where you get reminded. There's a few good ones out there. Yeah. I'm talking about people who ain't on no bullshit. Just yeah. want to show you love. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I'm already a fan, man. That's amazing. That is. Yeah, no, Obi be getting this shit in. Obi, I'm going to wear that headband next week. I promise I ain't going to forget. I ain't going to have no haircut either, so I'm going to have my shit. He got that karate kid hair. You know that shit. Do, 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 do. You're the yeah. best. Uh huh. Around. Oh, you're tight back. Yeah, as hell. No one's gonna ever keep uh, you down. You're the best. Damn. <laughs> I never thought I'd get this far. That make two of us. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. That's crazy, Obi. That's dope, man. That's a nice hat. 
Jimmy Marr just texted me with his crazy ass. What'd he say? Jimmy, that's the nigga that was on the show? Yeah, Jimmy. Great shit tonight, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmy be. Martinez, you all right, boy? Out there in New York, boy, y'all got that shit bad. Ugh. You got to yeah. watch every bitch you infect. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got to watch the bitches you infect. Now they infecting back, goddammit. <laughs> so good, so good. He say, I'm uh. up, bro. <laughs> I've been I be calling you, but it'd be late, God damn it. See, when it's 2 o'clock in the morning, West Coast, it's, it's 5 o'clock yeah. in the morning, East Coast. Right. Jimmy be calling me when I be on my way to people's house and shit. I be For like, real? oh, Jimmy, I got to hit you later, nigga. Jimmy, good people. It's a big dude, too. He didn't, he didn't play no what ball. What is Jelly Bean? Somebody just asked too. for the mailing address. Can I give this mailing address for the show? Yeah, give him the mailing address oh, for the show so you shit, can go through the shit and put the shit oh, that you... See? I do not. The last time I even opened it right in front of you, and you took all the stuff. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't oh. selfish like that. Yeah, right. Anyway, the address to send anything to the show is 5632 Van Nuys Boulevard, number 1256, Sherman Oaks, California, 91401. You can address it to the 5150 show. All right, so we're going to wrap it up, man. Thanks for popping through, Craig. Appreciate you Craig having me. Yeah, Facts. Craig, yeah. Appreciate you having me. Uh, Demon, Darlene, OGOTs. Mm -hmm. I am mm. Corey Holcomb. I want to say to the 5150 family who've been fucking with us for a long time, y'all motherfuckers, we appreciate y'all. And to Very anybody much. who new to this thing, keep fucking with us. It just get better. Friday, repo show, 8 o'clock. We out. Hell yeah. <laughs>